The other thing that you need to realize that is very unique on Toyota and Lexus vehicles is that when you are done, what will happen is your scanner will typically read 1150 degrees. And you think, I just went through the procedure either with the scanner or with the jumper wire, and now I'm looking in my data stream and I'm at 1150. Just because you did the procedure doesn't mean it's going to look perfect in the data, and we have to understand a little extra. In the case of Toyota, when you get the 1150 um, on your scanner, it, you know, it is not a situation where the sensor is broken. It is not a situation where you did the steering angle reset wrong. It is a normal procedure. And what happens on Toyota is I got to drive above 28 miles an hour in order for the car to do its final reset. And then when I come back, the steering sensor um, will read normal. Now on a little trick, often what we have to do when we come back to get it to read normal is sometimes I have to plug in the scanner with the vehicle running. And I say that because that's not typically intuitive of how we get in, but with the car running after we've done our road test, we plug our scanner in and what you're going to find is the steering angle will read okay. So Toyota and Lexus vehicles commonly done a zero point calibration with can be easily done with a scanner or a jumper wire and those are the tips that you need in order to get those vehicles done.